Hi folks, welcome back to a video. It's been a while since I did a video. A lot of things have been uh, happening. Uh, so I haven't really had time to uh, to make a video, but I'm happy to uh, be able to make one today. And I wanted to start with a review of these uh, Bostonian uh, chakas. Uh, you probably saw these uh, boots in the video where I showed you all the all the boots that I have. I bought it because it's seventy dollars, not on sale or anything. That it is seventy dollars, and it's a leather upper, leather soles, and three hundred sixty degree uh, Goodyear welt. So I was like, <laughs> what kind of a deal is that? Um, what? what kind of quality is this uh, pair of shoes and where did they cut corners because that's an incredible uh, price so I wanted to see if this is something that could be recommended <clears throat> and I'm gonna get into it but uh, the summary of it is is I can't <laughs> recommend these shoes to anyone um, they really cut a lot of corners um, so let me let me start right away uh, telling you my thoughts about these um, these shoes or these chukka boots um, the leather is a, a lower quality leather it's pretty uh, pretty stiff that's one thing but that's that's about the best thing that it has um, it does have 360 degree uh, welt but on the inside, when you put your foot in, um, you really feel the edge. Like this is the only, I, I'm not sure exactly how to describe it. This is the only pair of shoes where I feel like the, the cavity that is made by the welt. Um, and there are other videos out there. I, I'll look for a video out there that actually explains um how that welt creates a little cavity in the uh, in the bottom that then uh, folks uh, use to put the cork or a piece of leather that that provides some kind of a cushion in this one with your with your toes you can feel that edge which is very it's not a good feel if i wear um athletic socks then i, I don't really feel it if i wear uh, dress socks then it's it's a super uncomfortable feeling uh, i really don't don't like it um so i don't know how much feel there is uh, how much uh like cork or anything because it's it's just very mushy and you can feel the feel the edge so not good a place where they definitely uh cut corners is on the sole this is a very uh thin sole um you know, part of what you see here, the thickness of this is the welt itself. And then the, uh, the sole is just very, very narrow. Um, so that's going to wear out, uh, pretty, uh, pretty quickly. But the worst thing about this, um, I think it's just that it's just very slippery. Um, I've been wearing leather soles all my, all my life. And yeah, sometimes they, they come very shiny. And this one does come very shiny uh, on the bottom. But after wearing it a few times, it, it's fine. It, it gets scuffed up and, and it's fine. These ones, I still have to be very careful every time that I wear these to work. Um, this is like a hazard. <laughs> Walking on the parking lot on the asphalt is fine. When you get to a smooth surface, either tile or vinyl, uh, you start dancing all over the place. The worst part is, is really not the leather. The worst part is this rubber on the heel is a very hard rubber and it doesn't have any grip. You can see here on the, on the edge where it starts, it's, it's just shiny. And uh, there have been so many times that I've just skidded on the uh, uh, walking um, it's just very unsettling um, 
So seventy dollars. Um, if I were going to spend seventy dollars, I definitely would not do it on these pair of shoes. So if I had to buy a new shoe, um, I would go ahead and buy this one again. This is made by Wolverine and I paid a hundred dollars for it. Um, I haven't done a video on it. I wanted to have it for a year. I've had it for about a year, so I'll be making a video on these uh, soon. But let me just say that this was a hundred dollars and it was very much worth it. Uh, $70 for this, um, I just threw my money away. This is just worthless. I don't even wanna wear it one more time. Um, I was forcing myself to wear it so that I could do a review on it, <laughs> but no. Uh, so $100 could get you this shoe. If you're okay buying used uh, shoes, which I buy used shoes, um, I got these, these were used for $70, but used is a relative term. Um, the sole is, you know, I, I really couldn't see anywhere on the sole and there were just a, a handful of creases, but if they used these three times, it was, um, it was a lot. I, I, I really couldn't be happier with these. Uh, I bought them on eBay for $70. Very, very uh, worth it. These are um, Alley Edmonds. And uh, these ones here, I, I did a video on these ones. I also got them on eBay. These are also Alley Edmonds. And I bought these ones for $43. Um, that was including the shipping and the taxes. These were actually $30 um, for the buyer plus uh, $10 um, shipping and a couple dollars, um, two or three dollars for a uh, tax. Again, these were used, these were more used because there was some uh, creasing here, but plenty of life. A lot of these wear here. Uh, I actually just put it on them last month, I took these on a trip to uh, Boston, actually, and I was walking eight miles a day with these uh, with these shoes. Um, look at the life that these has. These these are gonna last for years, and they were uh, the leather is super super high quality, very comfortable. Forty three dollars, uh, seventy dollars. A hundred dollars new. Definitely, uh, if you have seventy dollars to spend, there are uh, better things that you can do over these shoes. I, I really cannot recommend these shoes. So these are the Bostonians um, number sixteen. The number sixteen is actually the model, uh, and that's it for this video. If you have any comments or thoughts or anything you want to share. Just put them down below. And if you could click that like button, do that if you like the video. And thank you for watching. Bye.